to Missy, Pedro is done with basketball camp and is coming home this weekend. Are we supposed to care? Oh, come on, Beatrice. Pedro's a nice guy. And why do you have to talk down about everybody he's friends with Benedict? That is a false accusation. Oh, come on, Beatrice. Just own up to the fact that you like Benedict. Cleo! I can't believe you'd say something like that. Lenora, please tell your baby sister to leave this room at once. <laughs> oh, Beatrice, you crack me up. Oh, I'll get it. I'm sure it's Maggie. We're going to get pizza. Your sister is such a brat. Oh, get over yourself. You're just mad because you're worried that if she can see how much you like Benedict, then he'll figure it out too. Why does everyone think I like him? Because you've bickered like an old married couple since kindergarten, I think. So just because I call him out every time he's acting like an ass means I like him? It's so much more than that, and you know it. Why do I consider you my best friend? Because I'm the only one that ever tells you the truth, and you love it. Well, isn't this interesting? What? It seems that Pedro and Benedict have a new friend, that new kid, Claude. When did this happen? He's a couple grades younger than them, isn't he? Yeah, he's gonna be a sophomore, like Cleo, I think. I don't know, I'll ask Missy. Right, so then, she was so mad that I never returned any of her texts, you know? Is she still texting you? Yup. Who? That Missy chick from our third period class. I don't remember her. Nothing to remember. Don't be a jerk. She's nice enough. Any girl is good enough. Good enough just means she's good enough to hook up with and nothing more. That's pretty vicious. You're young. You'll learn. Whatever you do, Claude, never listen to Benedict when it comes to girls. He knows nothing. That's a lie. I am quite the ladies' man. Oh, I'll give you credit. You do know how to flirt, but you have no follow through and you're an ass. <coughs> girls are good for one thing. That's because you got your heart broken in the ninth grade. Wait, what? Don't you dare tell that story, Pedro. <laughs> what are you gonna do? We both know I can kick your ass. You promised that you would never tell this story. True. I did promise I wouldn't tell it. Thank you. But I said nothing about acting it out. What? Um, Claude, I'll need your assistance. Sure. You be Benedict. All you have to do is stare at me at door and leave a puppy dog, guys. Oh, Benny, this summer was, like, so fun. I enjoyed you taking me places and spending money on me and taking me to the mall. But we're in high school now, and I'm just too pretty to date a boy my own age. Say, I don't know what you mean. I don't know what you mean. Oh, I'm dumping you now, Benny. Duh. Now cry. <laughs> Very funny. It didn't happen that way. Okay, maybe it did. But I was young and stupid, and no girl will ever play me like that again. I do all the playing now. Well, at least you guys have had girlfriends. But that's kept me moving around so much, I've never even had the time to get to know one. Ah, uh, don't worry, buddy. We're taking you under our wing now. If it's a girlfriend you want, we'll find you one. Perfect timing. What do you mean? Maggie or Cleo. What? That's up to the boy. What can I get you? Hi, Annie. How many times do I have to tell you? I don't like being called Annie. Call me Dogberry. But only guys call each other by their last names. That's not true. All sports professionals do it. But you're not a sports professional. I'm going to be. You just wait and see. I'm going to become a famous soccer player, and you're going to eat those words. You can't eat words. It's an expression. Well, speaking of eating, can we get a couple of slices? Fine. I can't, no way, she's too pretty. Remember, girls are good for one thing. Remember, never listen to Benedict. Dude, you look like a creep. I told you, I don't know how to talk to girls. Don't worry, I'll get a number for you. You can text her. What? That's stupid. No, that's good. 
Very good. I like it. Well, then it's settled. I'll text her, pretend to be you. I'll have her eating out of the palm of my hands. Uh, your hands, I mean. Good afternoon, ladies. Pedro. Hey, Pedro. I thought you weren't coming home until this weekend. Where'd you hear that? My sister. Oh. Your sister, huh? Is uh, Lenora keeping tabs on me? <laughs> you wish. No, Missy is. Oh, figures. I knew you were messing with Missy. So Lenora doesn't know I'm home then. Why would she? Is that the reason you came over to us? To talk about my sister? Are senior boys just as shy and awkward as freshman boys? I'm not shy and awkward. You're certainly acting it. I came here for my buddy. Not Benedict. No, the new kid, Claude. He's cute. You think everyone's cute. So? So boys will think you're cheap. Oh no, my mom says I spend money like it's water. That's not what I mean. Anyway, what do you say? Give uh, me your number to give to him? I don't know. He's never even spoken a word to me. He was only in school for about a month before he got out for the summer. Give the kid a break. He's a cool guy and a great basketball player. What do you say? Alright. And, I mean, Dogberry. What's up? Your slices are almost ready. Do you have a pen I can buy? Yeah. Thanks. Cool. Talk to you girls later. Oh. Hey, Benedict. You should give Beatrice a call. Why would I ever call that attention whore? Oh, please. The attention she's seeking is yours, and vice versa. She may seek out my attention, but she is the last person I would ever want the attention of. You're so full of it, dude. Everyone knows that you asked Vanessa Sullivan to eat her dance with Beatrice for a day night guy, Tony. Where do you come up with this crap? We've been, we've been friends since, what, preschool? I know you better than you know yourself. Everyone knows that you asked Vanessa Sullivan to the 8th grade dance with Beatrice Story to get dating that guy Tony, and then she broke your heart. Two girls broke your heart in a matter of months, and then you use girls to pretend to hate Beatrice. You guys suck. I'm out of here. Wait, dude, don't go. Come on. Oh! Ooh. What's that all about? Just boys being boys. That's why I love them so much. Because they're even more stupider than I am. Let's do your pizza. Okay. Yeah. I thought I'd find you here. Where else would I be? What's your problem? The favorite one came home today. I know. That's why I've been looking for you. What are you talking about? I was just at the pizza place and I heard an interesting rumor. Girls and gossip. Why do I care about gossip? It's more than gossip. It's information that could ruin the lives of those you hate. Pedro? Yes, your stepbrother is one of them. But who else do you hate? So many people. Who took your place at basketball camp? That loser, Claude. Yep. Uh, okay, may have piqued my interest now. I figured as much, so I must have shown up at the pizza place right after Pedro and Claude took off. Remember, I'm a guy, don't care about the many details. Shut up! So anyway, I was at the counter waiting on my fries when I heard giggling. I turned around and saw Cleo and the half-wit Maggie. Through the giggling, I heard the name Claude. What a moron. Naturally, I decided to listen in, and I found out something fantastic. Oh my god, get on with it! Hey. Don't be an ass, because I can leave right now and not finish the story. Friends with a girl is not easy. Shut up! Claude, being the tool that he is, has asked Pedro to get Cleo's number. Claude likes Cleo. Apparently. Wait, wait. So if he likes her, she gave him her number, how does this ruin anyone's life? Because, you jerk, we can use this information to ruin their lives. Why do you care? 
because you're my friend and I know how much you hate your stepbrother and I know how much it pissed you off when Pedro became friends with that prissy boy Claude and coached him so that he could get into basketball camp instead of you. We're stepbrothers. I think that would mean something to Pedro. Exactly. So let's screw with them all and you can get your revenge. Okay. I'm in. What's the plan? That's the spirit. Well, we had quite an interesting afternoon. Oh yeah, what happened? The new cute kid Claude is like totally into Cleo. What else is new? Most guys like Cleo. He's gonna text her tonight. You must really like him then, Cleo. He's cute, so that's a bonus. And he's new to town, so he has to be at least a little different from all the other guys here. All high school boys are the same. Do you know any non-high school boys? Not really. Except for the seniors that just graduated and they haven't matured yet. So if you found a mature boy, you'd date him? I probably won't date again until I'm at least a junior in college. They should be about 20 by then and therefore no longer a teenager. And then they'll be mature? Hopefully. So when Benedict turns 20, you'll date him? Benedict? Absolutely <laughs> not! No! Never! They sound the same. What are you talking about, Maggie? <laughs> Beatrice and Benedict. Pedro and Benedict were with Claude at the pizza place. Pedro's back from basketball camp? But Missy said- Forget that! What do you mean Benedict and I sound the same? <laughs> when we mentioned your name to Benedict, he got just as upset at the sound of your name as you do at the sound of his. What did he say about me? Why do you care? I don't. Enough. We could battle this all night. Someday you two will both come to your senses. Now what's this whole Claude texting you business? He's going to, hopefully tonight, and hopefully he'll ask me out. I'd love to be dating someone as the school year begins. That's such a sophomore thing to say. I am going to be a sophomore. Doesn't mean you have to act like one. So I should act like you? Instead of a senior in high school, you act like a senior citizen. <laughs> you two are almost as bad as Beatrice and Benedict. If either of you were into girls, I'd think that you two had a thing for each other. I think I would have much better taste in girls. You could never get a girl like me. I am so confused. What else is new? Hey, don't take out your frustration on her. Get over yourself and admit you like Benedict. Lenora, are you gonna do anything about your sister? No. And why not? Because she speaks the truth. And you know how I feel on the matter. I hate you all! So you really like this Claude kid? I don't know. But I think I could. I hope he keeps his word and texts you then. Well, he didn't say he'd text. Wait, now I'm confused. See, it's not that hard. Pedro said Claude would text. Well, if Pedro said so, then I'm sure he will. Pedro had never let some goofy sophomore mess with my sister's feelings. What does that mean? Huh? What? You're just as bad as Beatrice! Come on, Maggie. Let's go get a drink. Is it him? It's a number I don't know. What does it say? Uh, let me respond. I'll give you details when there's details good enough to give. You're the worst. Ugh, I gotta pee. Thank you.
<laughs> Who is it? I don't know, it's not a safe number. It can't be anyone you're friends with then. You added everybody when you got your new phone. What did this say? Stop spreading rumors about me? That's weird. Who are you spreading rumors about? No one. You know me. I can front. I'm not about rumors or passive-aggressive behavior. Well, what are you gonna say? Well, I want to know who it is before I say much of anything. Very funny. You know very well who this is, and I don't appreciate being attacked in public. Who have you attacked recently? You. True. You know it's not me. Anyone else? No, I've been here all summer unless I've been babysitting and I don't think Sean would be texting me. Mm, true, you don't hear of many three-year-olds texting. Seriously, I don't know who this is. I got a new phone a couple months ago. Does she really not know it's me? Is she screwing with me? She has to know it's me. Indomitable all the time. Benedict. <laughs> to be. Enemies, attack, indomitable. Only he would text you like that. Now to have some fun. You must be friends with that ass Benedict. <laughs> he probably gave you my number because he's too much of a tool to text me himself. Everyone knows he's in love with me and uses words of hate and disdain to cover up his true feelings. <laughs> cover up his true feelings? That nasty... Hey. Yelling. You're disturbing the customers. Oh, it's on now, Beatrice. It's on. I don't know who this Benedict is, but I'm sure you've annoyed him as much as you've annoyed me. He means those words of hate and disdain. I am positive he is not in love with you. <laughs> <laughs> Almost, but no. What happened? Well, it started off fine. Pedro texted her, pretending to be Claude, got the conversation going. He, he said he'd text her later, and the plan from that point on was to pass it on to Claude. Okay, so then what? Claude came over around 8. I caught him at the door before he rang the bell. Pedro had no idea he was there. Perfect, that's what we talked about. Oh yeah, I know, that part went well. I told him Pedro was in the shower and he could sit down and watch TV with me until he got out. Nice. So I told him our fake story of how he was, liked her and was going to ask her out. Claude must have been pissed. Yep, but that's where it backfired. What do you mean? Claude isn't the one we thought he was. He, he stood up to Pedro. What? So not only did it not work, it completely blew up in my face. Pedro flipped out on me and is now completely furious with me. Crap. That's putting it mildly. And now he'll catch on quick if we attempt something else. Look, I'm done, okay? We tried. 
I'm just going to face the fact that I'm going to be miserable in this town. Hopefully my mother will come back from Paris and I can move in with her sooner rather than later. Hey, I resent that. I've been a good friend to you. That should be one good thing here. Look, one good thing out of a hundred bad things does not even anything out. I suppose, but it would still be nice if you would acknowledge that I've been a good friend. Girls, everything's so personal. Shut up. You make just as many things personal. Otherwise you wouldn't care that Pedro likes Claude better than you. I never said he liked him better. Just saying we took that little nobody under his wing instead of his stepbrother and left me out to die. Oh yeah, that's not personal. Well, whatever. I need coffee. You coming? Only if you agree to try one more plan. You're just full of ideas to screw with people, aren't you? Yeah, it's kind of why I don't have many other friends besides you. See? You need me too. Blah, blah, blah. Are you interested in my plan or not? Yeah, sure. Come on. I'll buy the coffee, buy the bagels. Deal. Now I had to figure out how to get her your phone number instead of mine. Yeah, we didn't really think that through, did we? That's fine. Once you guys are dating or something, you'll get the whole thing sorted out. She needs to know that we're honest and not playing her or anything. Why would John want to spoil the whole thing? He's been jealous of me since he got here. You know, I think that he thinks that his mom ditched him or something. It's not what I think, though. He actually sees me and my mom talking and laughing all the time and kind of feels jealous, I guess. I don't blame him. It's hard living in a new town all along. But what do I have to do with any of that? You know, I guess he kind of sees it as me choosing you over him. I tried to be friends with him after our parents got married, but they just kind of shut me out. He used to come over our house every once in a while. I guess he thought it wasn't really a big deal or something. Our parents would take him to a basketball game. They might hang out on their own. Nothing too big, really. So why is he leaving with you? Does mom really ditch him? Ditch is a strong word, but I'm sure that's what he thinks. His mom got this big job offer in Paris a while ago, and he asked him to go, and he freaked out. And his dad immediately said he can come live with us without even asking my mom first. You know, he's just kind of an angry kid. Thinks his parents' divorce was my mom's fault. Was it? My mom says no, and I believe her. She met Bruce shortly after my dad died. She had to go back to work at this advertising agency. Bruce was a lawyer, I guess, for some law firm, and they had the same client together. He was still married at the time, but he was going through some marital problems. My mom enjoyed having a friend to talk to, I guess, even though it was about his failing marriage most of the time. They were just friends. Until Bruce got divorced, and then they started dating about three months after that. Seems legit, but why would John think it was your mom's fault? Like I said, he's an angry kid who's mad that his family is broken. I can understand that, but I lost my dad completely. He still has both parents. What a downer. Well, that's life. We move on. Anyway, back to telling Cleo the truth about her thinking you're a jerk. Well, she agreed to let me come over and watch a movie. I'll be a gentleman, and she'll know that I really like her. Then, tomorrow, we'll meet her together and tell her the truth. It's actually not a bad plan. Look. I figured as much. Isn't he supposed to be meeting us? He was still really mad last night. I don't know if he would. I guess I can understand. We didn't really back him up. I know, and I feel awful. This is my best friend forever. You know, let's go buy him a slice and smooth things over. Hey man, can we sit with you? Whatever. What's up, man? Not much. Look, dude, I'm really sorry about yesterday, okay? I got all worked up over nothing. Cleo threw me for a loop when she mentioned me liking Lenora. I thought I had that in check. I was an ass. I'm sorry. Was an ass? Yeah. Try always an ass. <laughs> if I am, you are, dude. I guess you're right. Whatever. It's all in the past. I have to tell you what happened to me last night. Oh man. We have a story for you too. And then that failure at life, Beatrice, continued to pretend she didn't know it was me. But it was clear from her false accusations that she absolutely knew it was me. Dude, why'd you text her in the first place? 
because I didn't have Cleo's number and I needed to get my anger out on someone. And technically she is the source of my anger, spreading lies like that. What lies? That I like her? Why else would Cleo say that? Because you do like Beatrice and the whole freaking school knows it? We hate each other. Love, hate, it's high school angst at its finest. Okay, I'm just gonna get pissed again. Tell me your story. Annie, what are you doing? Hey, Annie, what's up? First off, it's dog Larry. Second, I didn't want to interrupt, so I was waiting for you to finish. So you were eavesdropping? No. Yes. I didn't hear anything, I swear. I'm no snoop. Mm-hmm. Well, hope whatever you did here stays here. Yeah, because what happens at the pizza place... Stays at the pizza place. <laughs> sure. Anyways, I didn't hear anything, so it doesn't matter. Anyways, do you guys want food? Yeah, sure. Three slices. I'll get a Coke. Two Cokes. Root beer. Okay, I'll be back in a few minutes. Make your presence known this time. And I thought I was awkward. Don't worry. You are. Well, look who it is. Oh crap, I don't need this now. Is that Beatrice? The one on the white is Beatrice, and the one on the black is Lenora. She's Cleo's sister? They don't look anything alike. Why would I care what Lenora looks like? Two blacks. I don't know what it is about her, but I just can't get the guts to tell her that I like her. Probably because she only stopped dating Justin a month ago. Justin? Wasn't he the captain of the team last year? Yep. And on the day of graduation, he told Lenora he thought they should break up because he's going to college and she's still in high school. I know. I killed her. It was really cruel. They were dating his entire junior and senior year, and dating a girl that was a grade younger than him didn't phase him back then, I guess. It's because he's hoping college girls really are party girls. Everyone knows that. I'm sure even Lenora does. You should definitely ask her out, but not today. Why not today? Because she's with that backstabber, Beatrice. How is Beatrice a backstabber? I don't know, but I'm sure she is. Am I ever gonna know the full Beatrice Benedict story? I don't think anyone really knows the whole story. Have you filled in on part of it at least? They were friends in middle school. I know that much. I thought you weren't a snoop. You said to make my presence known this time. How do you know anything, anyway? You're like two grades younger than me. Everyone knows most of the story. You two suck at keeping things hidden. She's right, you know. Where are our drinks? Sheesh, don't be a jerk. I only have two hands. Why are you making such a big deal out of this? I would think you would care. There is no way they don't see us here, and it's only a matter of time before he says something and makes a scene. Well, we've been here for ten minutes, and they haven't as much as glanced our way. Not even Pedro. Wouldn't it be amazing if I were dating Pedro and you were dating Benedict? What? I definitely know we're here now. Can I help you guys? No, we're leaving! Sorry. What are you doing? You look like a lovesick schoolboy. He is a lovesick schoolboy. Somebody needs to fill me in on what these girls have done to you. calls me by my first name and I hate it. I hate it. You work at the pizza place, right? Yep, that's me. What are you reading there? The book, Faith. Just trying to get my summer reading done. Nothing special. I read that too. It's a good book. Yeah, it's okay so far. So, working and reading. Anything else happening in the summer for you? Uh, no. Maybe a family camping trip. Cool. So, I understand an awkward thing happened at the pizza place today. Oh yeah, Beatrice caused a bit of a scene, but I'm pretty sure it was just because Benedict was there. You know how it is with those two. Of course, everyone does. 
Did you by any chance happen to hear about Claude and Cleo? Well, it's not like I listen to conversations. Oh, well, I normally wouldn't be doing this. It's just that I have a crush on Claude and I don't want to embarrass myself. Isn't he younger than you? Just one grade, but can you imagine a junior girl asks a sophomore boy out and gets rejected? My last two years of high school would be unbearable. True. So can you help me out? Well, I did hear something, but... I swear, this stays between you, me, and the bench. All right, he's going over her house tonight to watch a movie. I think it's a first date. Really? That makes you happy? Oh, you, you think that was happiness? No, that was heartache I was trying to mask for your benefit. Oh, I'm sorry to make you feel bad. You know what? I think I need to be alone. I understand. Bye. Tell me about Beatrice and Benedict. I suppose I'm gonna have you help me with this. I should probably tell you about it. So, in elementary middle school, Beatrice and Benedict were really great friends. They live next door to each other, and their parents hang out all the time. Eh, uh, okay. But then in eighth grade, it started getting weird. Um, Benedict told me that he liked Beatrice, and Beatrice told Menorah that she liked Benedict. So, did they go out and break up? Well, not exactly. They didn't want to ruin their friendship. They were kind of nervous about the whole thing. I guess I could see that. But then, the 8th grade dance and the 8th grade field trip was coming up. Ah, uh, middle school hell. Right? Who are you going to ask? Well, this guy named Tony Diamata ended up asking Beatrice to the 8th grade dance. Who? It doesn't matter. He goes to private school now. Okay. So, Beatrice was worried that Benedict wouldn't ask her, you know? I mean, I said I was working on him, though. Uh-oh. Yeah. So... So, Beatrice ended up going with Tony to the 8th grade dance, and then Benedict totally flipped. He broke into Beatrice's backyard and then trashed his father's car. He was totally mental. It seems a little harsh. Do you know Benedict? Yeah. True. All drama, all the time. Yep. So, Idris and Benedict were kind of at odds then. They both dated their respective dance dates from then on in, and they poured their heart into the relationship, but they both got badly hurt. And now they hate each other and the idea of a relationship. Yep. But, it's their senior year. I'm tired of this, you know? I really like Lenora, and I think she likes me too. I'm not gonna let those two stubborn idiots ruin this for me. But what are we gonna do about it? Well, I'm gonna use this opportunity to talk to Lenora, but we need to come up with a plan to get those two together. I like it. So why don't you text Lenora? Really? Now? Not that I like the present. Here it goes.
god. I totally embarrassed myself. She was replying to my text. Pedro, what is wrong with you? I'm supposed to be the moron who doesn't know how to talk to girls, not you. I can't believe you talked me into sending that text. I had nothing to do with it. You didn't even tell me what you sent until after. You suck, man! Shut up! I can't believe I helped you with Cleo! Dude, you're insane. Come out of here. Yes! Yes, yes! She's totally into me! I'm waiting. For what? An apology. What are you, chick? Come on, help me decide what to say next. Have you even spoken to him before today? Are you kidding? I made him completely uncomfortable in Spanish class every day. Why? Staring at him, touching him, copying his notes. Again. Why? Because he's cute. You need to learn the classic art of subtlety. What's that? Later. So, why is he coming over here? Well, I'm here. You weren't when you saw him at the mall. Why don't you just go to your house? I don't know. He just really wanted to come here. Like a double date. John knows about me and Claude. Well, yeah, I told him. Uh, I guess we could double date. I mean, it'd be easier on all of us. He'll be here soon. Claude isn't coming over until like eight. No prop. I'm sure I could find something to do with John. <laughs> How pathetic are we? What? Cleo has a date coming over and we're sitting around playing cards. So? We don't need guys. Speak for yourself. I'd love it if Pedro asked me out. Why him? There are plenty of other guys at school. Who aren't friends with Benedict, you mean? Go, Lenora! Okay, okay. I have been harping on you a lot lately. You think? It's just... Uh, I've been... What? I've been keeping a secret from you, and I think I've been trying to get you mad at me so that I wouldn't feel so bad. Keeping secrets? We don't keep secrets. I know, but I promised. Promised who? Benedict? You were keeping a secret for that dirty scoundrel? I don't even know you! Calm down. I will not! Look, I swear I will break my promise to him and tell you if you will calm down. While I'm waiting! Okay. Okay, here goes. He... He... What?! He loves you. Did you hear what I said? I couldn't have. He loves you. Are you screwing with me? Did I do something horrible to you and this is how you're getting back at me? Not at all. You're my best friend and I'm telling you the truth. When did he tell you? Around the same time that Justin dumped me. I was so devastated I couldn't bring myself to tell you. That's why he texted me. Huh? That's why he texted me last night. Oh, yeah. I bet. He, he must have assumed that I told you and that's why he was trashing you. You broke his heart again. But I didn't. You didn't tell me. I have to text him. I have to see him. No, don't. Why not? Because he might think it's a break. Crap, you're right. Look, I'll text him and get him to meet me tomorrow. You'll come along and we'll explain the whole thing to him. You think it'll work? I know it will. Saved by the bell. What? Nothing. I'll get that. I'll get it! It's my house, I'll get it. No, no, me. Oh, uh, why? Hi, I am so happy to see you. John? Hey. What are you? We're double dating with Claude and Theo. Oh, I didn't know you two were dating. Well, we are now. Yeah, we, uh, we are now. Hmm. Well, that's cool. Uh, say hi to your brother for me. Step brother. Whatever. Let's go downstairs. Actually, you know what? Why don't you guys stay up here? 
Um, the TV's better. Beatrice and I will go downstairs. Thanks. Cool. Come on, Beatrice! Expecting Claude to aid us, so she's giving us a little privacy. <laughs> Perfect. So, what time is it? About seven thirty. <laughs> Aren't you a dancer? No, that's Cleo, silly. Oh. What's wrong, my little honey bear? See, um, I was really hoping to make out with a, a, a dancer. Hang on, hang Five. Be here soon. She better hurry up. How do I look? Perfect. I'm glad you like it. <laughs> oh, I do. So, um... Uh, it's a nice night out. Maybe we can go for a walk later. Yeah, it's nice out. What the? Huh? Oh, nothing. Just, um, your hair looks so pretty in the moonlight. <laughs> He's not out yet, silly. Yes, yes, I know. But if you stand here and wait for the moon to come out, it can shine through your hair and then it'll look pretty. Oh, okay. Oh, uh, I'm, I'm gonna kiss you now. Okay. Is that Cleo? Oh my god, she, she's making out with some guy. Wait. That doesn't make any sense. She knew that you were coming over. I can't believe I let her play me. I'm out of here. Claude! Wait up! It worked. What? Uh, the, the jacket. You made my dreams come true. I like the sound of that. <laughs> well... See you later! Going on. I don't know. It was perfect. I had pretty moonlight hair. The sun is still out. It was gonna be pretty. What are you talking about? He kissed me and, and then he was gone. That's weird. No. The kiss was great. No. The fact that he left is weird. Did I do it wrong? I doubt it. Here. Let me try it on you. Maggie, <laughs> I love you, but no way, never, no how. Oh, Pooh, I hope he comes back. Sure, honey, why don't you wait for him? Okay. What time is it? Um, 8.10? That's strange. What? Claude's not here yet. OMG, I totally forgot. We could wait together. Great. What? Slow down! Why? She can tell me there must be some mistake? No. So I can do what a good friend does. Say nasty things about the girl that just broke your heart. 
I don't understand. We haven't even had a date yet. Why screw around already? Because sometimes girls just suck. I'm gonna be like Benedict. Don't say that. Come on, you can come with me and tell him that Beatrice loves him. No offense, but that's the last thing I wanna do right now. <sighs> I thought I'd try. I think I'm just gonna go home and wallow in my own self-pity. I understand. I'll text you tomorrow, okay? Cool. Good luck with Benedict. Thanks. You asked me to meet you here. I found something out today. What? Well, I finally got out the nerve to talk to Lenora. That's awesome. Good for you. <laughs> and she told me something. Oh, man. She didn't crush you, did she? Just like her wretched friend Beatrice? No. The opposite, actually. Huh? We're getting together tomorrow. And you're coming with me. Dude, this is great, but you could have texted me all this. I'm not finished. You're gonna come with me. Yeah. Why? <laughs> to, uh, hang out with Beatrice. What? It's quiet down out there! Dude, no way. I'm out of here. Dude, she loves you! Did you hear me? I couldn't have. Because there is no way what I think I just heard is possible. Oh, it's possible. And you two are gonna go on a double date tomorrow, I'm gonna tell her that you love her and make up for lost time! That's why she pretended not to know me last night. What? She was afraid she'd tell me her feelings. Text is so much easier than face to face. Right. That must have been it. I need to run. Run? Is that what love does? I can't believe he never showed. I know. Cleo's devastated. But why make such a fuss to not show up? Did she text him? No. She felt like an idiot. She didn't want to risk sounding desperate. I mean, they'd only texted one night. No date or anything. Yeah, makes sense. Are you gonna ask Pedro? I don't want to put him in the middle, and I certainly don't want to be in the middle either. True. I can't believe I'm gonna meet Benedict and he's gonna tell me he loves me! Well, it's about time. <laughs> I guess you're right. I can't believe she was making out with another guy. Could you see who it was? Nope. It's a good thing too. Claude may hunt him down. Wow. Who would have thought? Two days ago, I thought Claude was going to get his dream girl and I secretly hated him for it. Now I'm about to get my dream girl, and he probably hates me for it. He's young. We'll find another girl of his dreams for him. Hopefully. Are you gonna say anything to Lenora? I hope not. I mean, you know how protective I get of my friends. I know. You always got our backs. But seriously, don't go screwing up anything with Lenora. Oh no, I'd never say anything stupid. Hey! Hi! Oh, hi there. Hi, Beatrice. How are you? Very good today. <laughs> Me too. This is so nice. If by nice you mean Beatrice and Benedict being together without yelling insults at each other, then yes, I agree completely. <laughs> so, what should we do? We can go swimming. Um, no offense guys, but um, I was kind of hoping to go on a walk with Beatrice. A little privacy. I like that very much. Loves me. She said it. Okay, go celebrate with her, not with me. Whoa! Aww. Good for them. Yeah, it's about time. Now, if only all of our friends could be as happy as them. What does that mean? Huh? What? Nothing. I think you're talking about my sister. What? I mean, I guess I was, but she totally deserves it, right? I mean, she's kind of a player, don't you think? Two guys, one night. What are you talking about? I saw it with my own eyes. She's banging out with some other guy. What, was she gonna shove him out the door at 7.59 before Claude showed up? What are you talking about? She just said that Claude never showed up. Did you blame him? I mean, what was he supposed to do? Ring the doorbell and say, hey, I know you're just making out with some random guy. Wanna make out with me now? I can't believe she did that. And that she didn't tell me the whole story. Well, let's not let that put a damper on her day. Wanna go for that swim? Sure. Claude, isn't it? 
Yep. Uh, where's my stepbrother at? I thought you were with him. He's with Benedict. Ah, fickle he is. No, nothing like that. Ah, you know, you're, you're so loyal to him. I mean, I know he's a senior and, you know, you're an underclassman, but, you know, you don't have to look up to him. Listen, man, I know you and your brother have some issues, but he's my friend. I'm not going to let you get me down today. It's not possible to be any lower than I am. What's wrong? And you are? Connie? Well, Connie, no offense, but I have no desire to talk to any girls today. Oh, what, well, some girl broke your heart? <laughs> yup. Oh, man. Sorry. Whatever. You guys can have the court. I'm out of here. Yes. See how devastated he was? I told you I'd get it done. You did it! Uh, oh. mm, mm, <clears throat> pizza! What? Let's get pizza! Uh, okay, just stop shouting. You got it! I can't believe it worked. Maggie is so dumb. It wouldn't have worked otherwise. Have you seen Pedro? Mm, no, he's, uh, he's Mr. Popular now. Always off with somebody. He probably doesn't even care anymore. I bet he's gotten tired of Claude already. I'm actually looking forward to the back to school dance now. Why? Because maybe I'll ask Claude to go with me now that he's a free agent. So you weren't lying to the Annie chick? Oh, I was, but who wants to go to a dance by themselves? You got a good point. Well, maybe I'll ask that Maggie girl. At least now I know she's a good kisser. <laughs> I mean, Dogberry. Why'd you ask me to meet you here? You are not gonna believe what I just overheard. I had a really great time today. And I'm really happy for being interested in it. Yeah, me too. With all that you just said. I'll, uh, I'll text you later, okay? Great, yeah. That's what I wanted to talk to you about. What Pedro said, Pedro said what John set her up to see. Huh? Did I stutter? Excuse me? Sorry, I'm a little worked up today. Anyway, John came over last night and made Maggie think that they were going out on a date. And then he convinced her to put on my dance jacket, and then they made out for Claude and Pedro to see. Oh my god, that's awful. Yeah, and now it's pretty Connie is all about asking him to the back of school dance. Well, first I think we need to fix things with Claude. But then I think we should let Connie ask him to the dance, and then he should go with her. Huh? Give him a taste of their own medicine. Oh, now I get ya. But I need to talk to Maggie. She needs to know what a dirtbag John is. Yeah, he was going to ask her to a dance just to hook up again. Oh, we're gonna get them back, and we're gonna get them back good. Hey, where's Beatrice? Oh my goodness, I forgot to tell you last night because you were so upset. She's with Benedict. What? I'll explain over a couple of brownies. Deal. Dogberry, you want one? Call me Annie. Huh? Being considered one of the girls ain't so bad after all. <laughs> <laughs>
done. Why are Cleo and the Annie girl talking? I don't know. Who cares? Hey, Maggie, want to get out of here early? Yeah, let me tell Cleo she needs a ride home. Okay. Something is really weird about this. She made a beeline to Cleo. I didn't think they spoke outside of Annie taking her orders. So what if they are? Annie doesn't know anything. What's going on? Nothing. Let's get a drink. Oh my god. Is that Cleo? Yeah, why? I'm gonna go tell her off. I haven't seen her since that night. It's about time I confront her. Oh no, that would be a bad idea. This would be a really awkward place for that argument, and I'm sure she'll just deny it. Not to mention, Pedro is now dating her sister, and has completely ditched you. You don't need him coming down on you for that. I don't care, I'm doing it. Hi, Cleo. Claude, I didn't expect to see you here. Maybe you should grab the nearest guy, start making out with him, and it won't shock you that I show up a minute later. What are you talking about? See, I told you. You know what you are? You're a tramp! Claude, what are you doing? Standing up for myself. Now that I'm a loner because you dished me for a girl, what do I have to lose? Claude, I need to relax. No, I don't. I need to tell this little harlot what I think of her. Are you going to let him talk about my sister like that? Claude, you need to calm down and get out of here. I'll have to remove you myself. Oh, please. You and what army? Uh, this army? Try it, Benny. Oh my god, what did you do? Yo. Maggie, where are you going? We're out of here. You're not going anywhere, little brother. What are you guys doing? We're taking care of the real dirtbag in the room. Huh? I heard everything on the pizza place the other day. I knew something wasn't right. Why'd you do it? Why not? Alright, you never treated me like a brother. You always treated me like dirt! That's BS, man! I've tried and tried to build a relationship with you. You just shut me out and made my mother feel like crap! That's because your mother's a filthy tramp! Don't you ever say anything like that about my mother! Guys, stop. This isn't John's fault. I'm the one who convinced him to screw with you all. Why? Because he's my only friend and he's getting a raw deal. No, Connie. He got the deal that he set himself up for. I shouldn't have hit you, okay? But I'm done with you, John. Until you figure yourself out with roommates and nothing more. Get him out of here. Hey man, sorry about tackling you. Nice try, Penny. But you two hit like girls. Hey, watch it, kiddo, because these two girls can kick your butt. I'm sure you can. I'm sorry, Cleo. You know I was a lackey, right? I know, we're good. I would really like to take you on an actual date. I'd like that. Look at him, talking to a girl on his own. What do you mean? This all started because Claude couldn't talk to Cleo on his own. Boys are so dumb. So are girls. So Claude, I guess you should text me sometime. Oh yeah, by the way, you might have the wrong number in your phone. Huh? I can explain it all. <laughs> <laughs>